Jay and Rebecca. Hey, good morning. I am at 220 Hill Street. Hopefully you enjoy this. Doing a quick video tour. Uh, this is the main room. It is nicely appointed from, from here. I just walked in the front door. There's a small uh, wood-burning fireplace with a, a fan underneath. Bricks surround. White paint everywhere. You got a chair rail and um, a detail that wraps on all of the walls. The windows, these are like original windows. So these are wood windows. Um, there's a, a screens put in there. So those are probably not super efficient. But uh, uh, two and a quarter white oak floors. And then I came in a mudroom. Mudroom is nice size. It's got a bench so you can have your uh, hats and gloves stored under the bench. It's enclosed, but it, you can certainly feel um, since there's snow on the ground. This is a, a cool space. It's not not heated. It has a, a vinyl floor, um, which would be easy for maintenance, keeping that clean. Wood wood door. And so let's go through through the space. Up the stairs, the stairs have uh, wood steps. It's kind of an unfinished floor there. A little bit of storage underneath. Access to a crawl space. The crawl space is um, fairly deep. Uh, looks like that's about six feet deep, which would be cool. And you could get some storage in here. Here is the um, first bedroom. Bedroom has a vanity sink. Hi guys. Vanity sink, built in uh, countertop and shelves. Wardrobe type deal that's built in. And one toilet here with a small three foot by three foot uh, shower. And this is like a, one of those vinyl one piece units. And then the glass kind of pulls in. It seems odd that they didn't get a shower that fit better. So that could be redone. Uh, if you were to do a, a built-in, you could get a lot more space out of that. So again, we've got two and a quarter oak floors, a bit of a seam here. Just so you know, I can feel a little bit of a sunken area here. Very typical in this age of house, but it, it's not entirely uh, level on the flooring. Nice little room. Texture on the ceiling is like that hand-done texture. Uh, in here, they've got a different hand-done texture on these walls. And then on the, on the ceiling, you can see that same... Uh, press pattern texture. So let's go in the kitchen. In the kitchen, they've got a uh, vinyl uh, 12 by 12 tiles on the floor. Got an electric coil range sink. Nice size window, nice size upper cabinets. These are original, um, they are older. Kenmore dishwasher to the left of the sink. Formica countertops. And the Kenmore fridge. Looks like it's in good shape, but just a simple fridge. Just looking at the space, you wouldn't be able to get a larger fridge in this same space. Over here, they've got a working space that could be used as countertop or uh, like a built-in desk, more storage, pantry type storage over here. So there's quite a bit of uh, storage space for um, a kitchen of this age and era. And here is the dining space. So you've got a, a breakfast uh, dining space that is on the opposite side of the kitchen from the family room. So you've got your family room over here. Nice size room, plenty of, plenty of space, tall ceilings in here. And then you go through the, the kitchen, also tall ceilings. Um, 
and then you come into the dining space and it's the ceiling pops down about a foot and then you've got beyond that you've got another mudroom space and laundry space so you've got la uh, laundry here you could get stackable in there if you wanted here's something that is um, this is the panel so this is old school panel and would likely need to be updated at some point and here's the back door back door goes out to the side of the house um, there is no garage on this unit and I will head out that way and show you the ADU okay I went upstairs I am in the uh, second bedroom and they have a huge huge window here and you got some view here out to the mountains that are now covered by snow. Got a nice snow coming down today. And here's the room, good size room. Walls are about uh, four and a half feet, five feet at the edges. Queen size bed. And then I would imagine behind here is um, that the attic style space here we've got a chimney coming up or a structural support because that's not where the fireplace is below and then we got a little family room type sitting area here at the top of the stairs a little closet and then we don't have any lights in here but this space uh, Oh, we got do have a little light that turned on. Um, this could be finished space fairly easily. You could get a, a, a dormer type window cut into the roof and get quite a bit more square footage in here. Hopefully you guys are able to capture this. A decent ceiling height, just like in that bedroom. This could be turned into a bedroom pretty, pretty easily if you got a, a window installed. But... There is no bathroom up here, no plumbing, so you would have to uh, figure out what you want to do with that. I'll head down now. Oh, one thing on the stairs, there's this awkward step right at the top. Pretty typical of, uh, of old construction, the stairs are not, not to code. Okay, I'm going to hit these other two uh, bedrooms on the main floor. This is the space just off of the family room. Decent sized bedroom, probably uh, 11 feet. Queen size bed, bedside table on either side. Closet here that's built in. And then uh, storage above the closet, which is actually kind of nice. Then you go out into a hallway that's off the family room. There is a bathroom. Vanity, newer cabinet, uh, silestone type top, mirror, 4x4, four four, tiles, nothing fancy, window in the space that's kind of built in and clocked in pretty good. There's the hardware for the shower. And then here's, I think this is the mystery. This is the mystery toilet that you, you couldn't locate. And they didn't have it very well um, documented in, in their video. And so here we go again. Additional space. This is uh, another bedroom. They've got it set up as an office. Huge windows. Here, old school windows. Small closet. And a horse. Let's head out to the 80. Okay, I am in the ADU. Um, here's the front entry. Doors old, but it operates as it's supposed to. You walk in and they've got it set up with a, a trash can, a little bit of a pantry for storage. Um, narrow four burner range for mica countertops double sink stainless one cabinet as a base cabinet for the sink 
and a little bit of storage, and then a water heater. Above the uh, countertop, you've got some shelves for, for plates and so on. And here they've got this set up with a, a dining table that looks like it's built in. It's kind of cool, butcher block. And then they've got it set up currently. So they've got a large couch. And here they've got a desk and then the fridge. So pretty compact. Um, they don't have a uh, like a, an entertainment center, so you would have to work out how that would be set up. Currently, they've got a dresser under their window, some shelving, closet, and then a bed kind of built. That's not built in. It's freestanding, but uh, very compact space. So here's the dining, kitchen, family, bed. Very small. Uh, but totally livable. If I was a single dude, I could live here absolutely. So I think just judging by the apparel, this is a, a ladies place at the moment. And then you go over to the bathroom. Bathroom has a step up for my countertop, built in shelf, small three by three shower. If, if you were to improve something, I would do the same thing that we talked about before and Pull that shower out and put in a pan so you have a larger shower. Out here they have what we call cove heating. This is an electric uh, heat. It works like, like an electric radiant heat. It's just off of the floor, so it's a little bit more efficient for space. Got that in two different spots out here. So, nice little ADU. Totally rentable. Um, so, let me know what you think.